Our first speaker is Nancy Hardiman. Please come forward, state your name and address for the record. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. My name is Nancy Hardiman. I live at 1820 Greystone in Bryan. Uh, my husband, Ben Hardiman, who would have been here speaking tonight, was injured in a fall on Sunday and um, has asked me to speak on his behalf. When the uh, Partners for Better Bryan began the idea of petitioning for a change in the way council members were elected, our goal was to make each council member ex uh, accountable to the entire city of Bryan and not just to his or her district. Uh, when one of the council members stated that he would not vote for anything that did not visit, that did not benefit his district, and he started his career on the council by demanding that the city fill all of his items on his wish list, it became obvious that some action was needed to be taken. Um, just because you don't like an individual's actions, though, does not mean that you uh, don't like their race. There are people of all races whose actions we don't particularly like, some of whom are here. But that doesn't make us racist. However, when uh, the editorial director of the Eagle and um, a former council member you know, immediately started playing the race card, the discussion turned rather ugly and mean. The focus came off the idea of improving the voting situation that was currently in districts one and two, and in fact, um, in all districts, and allowed some angry and disgruntled people to express their dislike for the city of Bryan and for everyone who represents it. This effort was never intended, and there is never any basis for construing this effort as a racial or ethnic issue. We are very respectful of the dozens of previous minority council members and what they accomplished during their terms for the city. However, we are appalled that certain council members have denigrated their predecessors and allowed others to do the same in their name. Um, editorial comments that appeared in the Eagle and some of the letters and in a current and in a guest editorial this week have ridiculed and insulted the minority council members whose service has led to many of the good works that have taken place in districts one and two. Uh, city council members are elected to serve the city, to make financial decisions, and to consider long-term plans that they may not actually be in office long enough to see come to fruition. To be a good council member, he or she needs to have maturity, work experience, good judgment, and the ability to work with others. It has nothing to do with race and ethnicity, and everything to do with being willing to realize that this is not that this sandbox does not belong to you. That's why we asked the council to remove this petition for the time being. We're going to continue gathering signatures, but our efforts in gathering those signatures will be based on the willingness of those certain council members from districts one and two to work with the others on this council. Everyone up here has been elected. Everyone up here was chosen by the people in their own neighborhood. And they all deserve your respect and they all deserve your consideration. Our city's future is much too important for everyone here to refuse to work together. Um, I apologize for the fact that I do need to leave. I won't be able to hear the other comments. My husband is not able to get out of bed by himself, and so I need to go back home. Um, thank you very much. I'm finished. Thank you for your time. Thank you, ma'am. And thank you for considering this.